Oh, nasty cold, rainy day. And when I say cold, I mean it is cold. Nasty, wet, rainy, cold. I do have heat in the shop now, but I'm here with Abby. It's just me and her. And I don't want to drag her out in all the mud and nasty yuck. So, my tripod. I'm going to go in and clean some pins in the house or connectors. Okay. Everybody knows about the IDE cables. I did a video on me and Abigail cleaning those. Here's a couple of those. Focus. A couple of those with all the other garbage gone out of the way. Here's some that came in that were just, the cables were cut. These are off of floppies. Now, some of them will be plated out here as well as in here. Some of them, not all, but some. Like this one here, I don't know. It, it, of course, it's not going to be large amounts of gold. Here's some like this. It's got the two USBs, which are fairly complicated to clean, which I'll go over in this video. And then this one here, which is just as complicated to clean, which I'll go over in this video. VGA cables. Some of them are easy. Some of them are hard. Some of them aren't, aren't even worth cleaning. Um, I don't buy. I don't like buying them like this because of all the extra weight of the pins. E waste bin. If you watch his videos, he goes over all that. Now, some of these, like this, you can see those pins in there. Sorry about the light. It sucks. Some of these are fun to clean, which I'll show that here in a second on these. This is a USB that's soldered to the board. Not as complicated to clean, but not as easy as some either. Oh, helpful hint. When you're doing this indoors, and your wife is a clean freak, likes everything clean in its place, make sure you have a bin to put the scraps in, something to protect the table, which I just got priority mail, flaps off priority mailbox. Place to put your pins. I've got prepared connectors in there, which I just pick them out and pull the good bits out and then throw the plastic in the trash or the recycle bin or whatever that's a jug full of not full but has various different connectors in it but the wire of course goes in a bucket with insulated wire all right i'll video more as i get more progress done all righty first order of connector that I'm going to touch base on cleaning is this. And I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, hopefully fair enough. This is out of a floppy drive that the end of the pins is sticking out of the carrier. In there, it's all tin cut it right there even with that as e as close to the, the plastic as you can get and you'll get 99% of the gold what's left there unless you've got a meal you can throw these in and crush everything and then recover it that way you, your time's better spent just snipping these off right there as close as you can get and the tool I use to do that 
is these little flesh cut side cutters that I just dropped on the floor. But, and like I said, have something to catch the pins. Just get in there, snip them off. That's all you do. If you have a ball mill, and the blue bowl or whatever, and you want to crush everything up, by all means, do so. Because the copper is, you know, worth recovering. However, when you're a small operation, such as myself, the copper is in the pen and stuff is basically a byproduct to me. Uh, I have several gallons of waste solution that I have yet to recover the copper out of. The copper, the silver, and whatnot. But I will eventually. But this here, this goes in my scrap bin. That's it. Next up, these come off of laptop IDE hard drives. And I don't know what this connector is called, but the pins are entirely plated. And the best way I've found is grip that black plastic that runs up the middle of the pins and just give it a little twist. Just kink it go back and forth it will break the plastic and the pins are fairly easy to pull after that point sometimes you gotta show it who's boss or sometimes it'll make an idiot out of you and you look half silly which it's doing to me right now there we go so the plastic will just fall right out so then you trash and the pins pull right out of there see I don't know how well you can see that but completely plated uh, some of them will break which is a usually caused by the twisting process of getting things broke loose. Another piece of the plastic. Now, if anybody knows an easier way, feel free to comment. Uh, other than using a ball mill or just throwing this whole connector in solution. What I found, when you throw the whole connector in solution, you are using a lot of chemical a lot and some of us don't have the money to buy such large amounts of chemicals including myself uh, nitric around here is quite expensive um, maybe cheaper where you live where you do your refining but I, I forget what it cost um, I did find a better source than ordering it uh, I can't really reveal that source because well they 
give it to me uh, on trade. I, I trade various things for my chemicals. Well, for those chemicals, like the nitric. Uh, this year I traded some hunting rights for a, a, a pretty good supply of nitric. I let him hunt on my land. But that's pretty much it. I'll work on getting some more stuff cleaned and then I'll go through and show you, make it quicker. She's four in a, about nine days, ten days. That whole big pile that was, well, all these was there. All that pile here was here, which is what made this. So, some of those will be plated as well. They come out of the middle. Uh, but, yeah. We're going to keep plugging away. When uh, these are done here, I'll show how to do these in better detail. Uh, but these are fairly simple. You just pull the pins. All right. Be back. All right. These ones here, it's there wasn't many of them in that stack. Do you see that or not? It's got the gray with the little black piece here by where you pull the pin. What you want to do is take a pair of, set those on the side so you don't spill it. Take a pair of cutters, side cutters, and you gotta peel that black piece of pla black strip of plastic off, like so. Get your pins in because it might fall out. But peel it off. That is a retainer that keeps the pins in the carrier. Um, I, I don't know why. Couldn't tell you what they're thinking, but that's how some of them are. Just makes our end of it a little more complicated, but not bad. Day like today, it's all wet and nasty out, cold. Got the little one with me. Don't want to drag her outside in the cold, in wet, in mud. So we're just having a leisure, lazy day pulling pins. No, I do not make her help me. She chose to. So, let's squash that before it gets thrown out there. And you got that piece. Got this piece? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. You won't be able to get that one. No, put that back. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, I said I would show you how to do these. And I did. So there you go. All right. These ones here. And I'm, I'm holding the camera because I don't know that y'all can see. Um... What I do is I cut, let me close this up. I cut just along there, take that edge off, open it up, get this out, and they will be, if you can see down in there, the plastic is separate, and this one hand it sucks, and the pins just pull right out. And this goes in the rubbish bin. Uh, let's 
see if I can do this one handed. You can see I didn't cut this one. Did it to make time go by a little better. I'm not going to be able to do it one handed. Or am I? Yes, I did it. Woo! I crowd. did it! Good job. And the crowd goes wild. Then I stick the thumbnail in there. Right apart. Open it up, see? That's the female end of it. And there's the pin that come out. Drop it in the bin. And that's how I do these. This will be, of course, scrap metal. And here's a smaller one that I haven't done. There's a smaller one that I haven't done yet. But all right, I'll update. I'm just those connectors I showed in the first clips of the video. There's uh, jumpers in there too. Those get processed with the pins. Those get processed with the pins. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick gold recovery based video or recovering of the gold plated items from connectors show some of the different types of connectors and yeah. stuff all right i'll put this video up well i'll edit then put this video up i've learned so i'm learning how to edit video uh All right, folks, thanks. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Give advice. I don't mind. I'll take it all. Later.